let us see basic concepts of rotating machines okay transformer is anyway completed like you know let us enter into basic concepts of rotating machine in this like you know my our btech students or most of the guys they don't understand the difference between motor and generator basically if you understand the difference between motor and generator automatically motor and generator will be unified and there will be no difference between motor and generator in the analysis okay for example a generator is there generator is there now that generator output okay is about to be connected to resistor okay now the, let me connect this to one phase let me connect this to another phase let me connect this to another phase okay before connection before connecting that what will happen and immediately after connection what will happen let us see now this particular generator mechanically should be coupled with a motor or prime mover so this is going to be prime mover okay inside like you know inside the generator inside the motor what will happen we will see later we will see later okay now point here is in a generator if the generator is operating under no load condition for example i am the prime mover my hand is the prime mover i am trying to rotate the generator okay in this direction now means under no load condition for example if this load is not connected to the generator under that condition like you know voltage will be generated but current will not flow because load is yet to connect okay so the moment load is not connected load is not connected how much is the output power output power is going to be zero conservation of power conservation of power should be remembered always okay now from prime over side just like you know i will keep on rotate easily easily i will keep on rotate the generator such that output voltage will be there now the moment like you know this particular generator output is connected to load connected to load what will happen it is going to absorb power okay so my electrical power is being absorbed by the load means that my generator should take mechanical power from the prime mover in the sense in the sense under no load condition it's very easy to rotate the moment load is connected some opposition torque should come and beyond opposition i have to rotate i have to rotate because for example if my hand is there if i move my hand in this direction okay so what is the energy transform and nothing but for example some opposition is there beyond the position if i push my hand some opposition is there and i'm trying to push my hand like this some opposition is there in this direction beyond that like you know for example with opposition if i push my hand if i push my hand then what will happen this particular uh, what do you say hand will deliver mechanical energy this particular hand will absorb mechanical energy because i'm trying to push my hand like this and some opposition came like this beyond the position if i push my hand in this direction means that mechanical power will be transformed okay similarly just apply that here okay generator at no load condition means load is not connected for my prime mover it is very easy to rotate okay now the moment load is connected load is connected means that electrical power is being absorbed means that my generator has to absorb mechanical power generator will transform mechanical form into electrical form now how to absorb mechanical form for example it is very easy to rotate at no load condition but with the moment load is connected some opposition should come opposition should come and beyond the position i have to rotate beyond the position i have to rotate then only means my generator will be able to absorb mechanical power means that if generator is delivering electrical power it has to absorb mechanical power in the sense if prime mover is trying to rotate it in this direction in this direction generator should develop back torque okay generator should develop back torque such that generator will try to stop the prime mover generator will try to stop the prime mover but prime mover has to push that hardly has to push that hardly such that generator will absorb mechanical power okay here in generator in generator like you know generator under no load conditions back torque will not be there for example this is the prime mover this is my prime mover and this is my generator at starting if generator is not connected to the load at no load condition both will be it's very happy to rotate okay now if this generator is connected with the load means this generator is connected with the load so load is absorbing electrical form of power so my generator has to absorb mechanical form of power so my prime mover if it is trying to rotate in this direction my generator will develop back torque in opposite direction opposite direction such that my prime mover has to beyond that like you know though it is having some opposition from the generator beyond that it has to rotate then mechanical power will be transformed from prime mover to generator so what is the conclusion here conclusion is damn simple 
okay in generator once load is connected back torque should be there okay without back torque energy transformation is not possible okay directly speaking without a position energy cannot be transformed okay now let us think of the case of a motor this is motor okay so for example in this this is going to be rotor rotor of the motor which is trying to rotate in this direction which is trying to rotate in this direction now this is connected with the load let me connect the brake drum okay so for this brake drum let me connect the belt okay belt is connected like this and here let me connect two springs and here okay for example if i want to lift my hand from here to here it's actually very easy but for example if some like you know bucket a bucket of water is there that bucket of water if i want to lift if i want to lift i have to supply mechanical energy or not yes i have to lift the bucket of water means that bucket of water will try to stop my movement but still motor hardly has to push it back okay so under motor condition what will happen for example this is the motor now okay motor is rotating in this direction at no load fine at no load fine okay so motor is trying to rotate in this direction okay but load connected maybe bucket of water should be lifted okay or maybe uh, any other load for example if i want to this is a iron okay it means my motor is connected to the metal cutting metal cutting okay so my tool kit metal cutting tool will have motor my motor for example this is the tool kit i'm about to cut this iron i'm about to cut this iron before cutting the iron before started like you know cutting the iron then what will happen my motor is very easy to rotate now once i start cutting i start cutting while cutting this particular iron will try to stop my motor rotation or not yes okay so like you know in motor motor like you know at no load conditions at no load conditions it will keep on rotate like this okay in this direction now the moment load is connected load is connected in the sense brake drum will be there for the brake drum belts will be there so if you are trying to keep on try to stop the what do you say motor that is nothing but load okay so means load on the motor is nothing but something which will try to stop the rotation of the motor is nothing but load okay now means something is trying to stop me for example this is my motor hand something is trying to stop me beyond that it is pushing means that this particular hand is trying to supply mechanical energy which is getting stopping which is getting like you know which is trying to stop me is going to absorb that mechanical energy okay so in motor load in the sense if something is trying to stop the rotor trying to stop the rotor of motor is nothing but load so means at no load conditions it will rotate like this happily in the motor once load is connected brake drum for the brake drum belt is connected and you are tightening the belt means that that particular belt will try to stop the rotor means that that is nothing but the load okay now the moment something is trying to stop the rotor of motor but still motor is rotating means the torque should be there or not yes okay so conclusion is very simple in motor torque should be there or not yes in generator torque should be there or not yes but the directions are different let us see for example this is the generator this is the generator this is the prime mover both are rotated in this direction in this direction okay so both are trying to rotate in this direction at no load condition but at loaded condition what will happen it has to absorb mechanical power it has to deliver mechanical power so my uh, prime mover is trying to rotate in this direction but torque developed in generator will be in opposite direction opposite direction then prime mover has to keep on like you know has to apply more force in order to rotate generator once generator is loaded once generator is loaded okay so what does it mean here torque actually uh, my prime mover is trying to rotate in this direction but my generator torque is in opposite direction generator torque is in opposite direction means that means direction of rotation is in this direction torque developed is in opposite direction in generator independent of like it may be dc ac induction synchronous whatever it may be in all generators torque developed should be against to the direction of rotation then only generator will be able to absorb mechanical power calculations and all we will see later okay now let us think of motor okay for example this is the motor now and this is the load 
Now motor is trying to rotate in this direction. So motor is rotated in this direction means that torque should be in the same direction. If something is coming to stop me, to stop me, but still it is rotating in this direction only, means that in motor torque developed in this direction, direction of rotation is also in this direction. Though somebody is trying to stop my motor, my motor is still rotating it. Okay, so what does it mean? Torque direction, torque direction and the direction of rotation will be in the same direction in case of motor and the torque direction will be back torque in generator. Look, no? Torque direction will be against to the direction of rotation in case of generator. Okay, now let me see in generator, this is universal here. In generator, if the direction of rotation is in this direction, omega speed my torque developed should be in opposite direction okay now if you think of motor motor if motor is getting rotated in this direction omega torque developed also will be in the same direction in the same direction this is basic funda before entering into actual machines done